Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. Today's video is going to be my second planner setup. I mentioned previously that I had three new planners to set up. My last planner setup video was setting up my Louis Vuitton medium ring agenda, which is going to be my budget planner. And today I'll be setting up my reading planner slash journal. It's more of like a journal setup, not necessarily a planner. But what I'm going to be using for this is going to be a new planner that I got from Notique. It's this beautiful brown color in the A5 size with gold hardware. Yeah, this was actually my first time ordering from Notique and I got this along with a pencil pouch and then I also got a small wallet that is the same color and pattern. So this is what the inside looks like, it has a pencil loop, all these pockets on the back flap, secretarial part pocket, and then these bigger pockets. And then the front has this scalloped pocket, which I really like, and then all of these little ones for some cards. There's the size of the rings there. So this will probably be a short video because it's likely just going to be really straightforward. I have set up planners before. Obviously, I have, like I said, this budget planner that I set up last time. And then I have been using my Louis Vuitton Desk Agenda as like my everyday catch-all planner for the past, like, I don't know, almost like a year now. So... So I pretty much know like what I like as far as planner inserts go. This one is a little different just because it's a, it's the first time I'm doing like a reading journal slash planner, but let's go ahead and get started. So a lot of, all of these came from either Cloth and Paper or, or Infinite Lotus. So starting with the dashboard, I got this from Cloth and Paper. And that's what it looks like. I don't know. I thought this one was like different, kind of cool. I don't really, sometimes I like the dashboards with quotes. Sometimes I just like kind of this abstract image. I don't know. I thought it was cool. So that's what that looks like. It's very smooth. It's really nice texture. I did not get any dividers for this planner just because I didn't really know what I wanted and how I wanted to set it up. I kind of do like a general overview of what I like, but I did get these um, tab sticky notes. So these are really good for acting as dividers. So I might use these just to kind of distinguish section, section by section. But first up, I'm gonna put these task planner inserts from cloth and paper. They're really simple, just have the lined. And I like this little section here, which is typically to just like check off the tasks as you go. But what I'm gonna use this for is like kind of an overview of the books I read. So I'll put the date that I finished them, the name of the book, and then probably on this side, I'll put the star rating. So how much I liked it. Okay, next is these list inserts from Infinite Lotus. I am trying to make an effort this year to really focus on reading the books that I currently have on my shelves that I have not read yet, which is kind of a lot. So I really liked these list inserts to kind of act as my TBR list and I'll just write out the books and then check them off as I read them. So I'm trying not to buy any books this year and just focus on reading them. So hopefully I will use a lot of these inserts. Okay, next is this, these reading log inserts from Cloth and Paper. So I really like to keep my reading notes pretty simple. The journal that I have now asks a lot of questions about the book, which is nice sometimes, but like sometimes I just read to like give my brain a break, if that makes sense. Kind of like how people watch TV. Because I definitely, I definitely watch reality TV to give my brain a break also. But sometimes I read just to give my brain a break. So like the questions, like sometimes it's just not that deep. Like I'm just reading a fun little romance because 
I need something light in my life. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but so I like this reading log because it's like really simple. So you just have, you just have the title, author, date, progress, and then you just update it. And then I'm assuming this right here is for like a rating. So there's five little dots. If it'll focus. Hello. Yeah, so I'm assuming that's for a rating because there's five little dots there. And then title, author, review. I also like to keep track of whether it was like an ebook, audiobook, physical copy. So I'll probably add that in there somewhere. And then just like that front and back. I don't remember how many pages come in this. It seems a little thin, so I might have to buy more at some point, but I just wanted to start with one pack for now. And then I'm gonna add these notes pages, the notes inserts next. These are from Cloth and Paper, and they are the new executive notes inserts. So they have this section to put the subject and then date, day, month, and date right here. And then just like a typical notes page here. I just wanted to add these just in case. Sometimes I do feel like writing quotes down or writing thoughts down that I have. So if that is the case, then I just wanted to have this, but I definitely don't do that every single time. And then lastly, I have this minimal wishlist tracker from Cloth and Paper. This is going to be a wish list for the books that I want to buy. I normally keep a books to buy list and then like when my birthday comes up, when holidays come up, I have people who ask me what I want or what books I want specifically because I know that's what I prefer. And so I like just to have all of that in one location. So it has item, location, price, and then I guess you just check it off when you purchase it. So that is what it's looking like so far. Also, sometimes, not sometimes, I am in a book club at work. And sometimes I like buddy read with my friends. And if that's the case, I definitely take more notes while I read. So these notes pages will definitely come in handy. I also got some page flags and these little square flags that... I don't know what exactly I will use them for. I don't know, I, I honestly, I just bought them and I knew I, I knew I could use them, but I don't know what I'm gonna use them for. If it'll be specifically for reading or if I'll use it for my work planner, but I'll probably end up putting those in here. I also have some bigger ones from cloth and paper that I have in a different planner somewhere. All right, and I just added some little planner cards here from Cloth and Paper. I'm not huge on like planner cards yet, but I love seeing other people have them. Like I love seeing their setup they have going on here. So this is likely to change. But that is it for my reading planner slash journal setup. Um, this planner is so beautiful and it's like Safiano leather. So it has like a nice little texture, but also kind of smooth has a pen loop of course and I just really like the size of this. This is my first A5 so I do have this desk agenda which is slightly smaller. But yeah I love the size and my work planner I also got an, a an A5 so good to know because I write really big. So I feel like this is gonna work out well. But that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I have one more planner setup video planned, which will probably be in like a few weeks. It's not gonna be anytime soon because I still need to get all of my stuff for that. But the next video will be back to my budgeting content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.